Hi and welcome to the next in this series of screencasts on programming for psychology and vision science. Alright, so we've had a good look at the, the fundamentals of Python and now we're ready to put them into use and start to do something practical. In this screencast we're going to set up the fundamentals of a vision science experiment. So the objectives of this screencast are first to introduce a Python package called PsychoPy and we're going to use it to open a window on the screen and draw some text. Then we're going to talk a little bit about how these scripts are executed and how we can use PsychoPy functionality to control how the program flows. Okay, the first step is, as usual, to start up Spider and we'll create a new file and save it Okay, so the first thing we need to talk about is how we can add external functionality into Python. As we've seen, the Python programming language has a variety of data types and functions available for us to use. However, we can also create functionality ourselves and make it available. That is just what a vision science re researcher at the University of Nottingham, John Pierce, did when he created the package PsychoPy which adds a lot of functionality to Python that's useful for psychology. So the first thing we need to do is to make this external functionality available. And we do this just like we did before with the random package. We use the import statement. So here we're going to import a subcomponent of PsychoPy called visual. So we do this by starting with the import statement, import PsychoPy dot visual. Okay, so now we have the functionality in psychopy.visual available to us. The first thing we need to use it for is to open a window that we can draw to. To do this, we create a new window. So this is just like a, a number or a string, but it's a, a window data type. So let's have a look at its help again. So psychopy.visual.window and as usual we press Control i so now we see the help for this particular um, type of data, which as it says is used to set up a context in which we can draw things. Okay, so here we have a, a list of the um, function uh, parameters. We also see that lots of them have values there already. So these are default values. So if we don't actually provide anything for that particular piece of information, it'll take on this default value. So here we're going to set a couple of these. So the first one we're going to set is size. And size is a list of the horizontal and vertical extent of our window in pixels. So let's make ours uh, 400 by 400. So we've started out by using square brackets to um, start a list. We'll add 400 as our horizontal extent, comma, 400 as our vertical extent. Okay, so we're also going to ask PsychoPy to create the window not in a, a full screen. So we just want it to be a, in a, a small region of the monitor. So we're going to use this um, function argument full scr, and this is expecting a boolean value, so we're going to say uh, false. Okay, so the third one we're going to um, specify is the color. So we're going to color equals, again, this is going to be a list with, with three items. So there are a few ways you can specify color in PsychoPy, but the, the default is in this red, green, blue mode. So each of item in this three item list corresponds to the red, the green, and the blue channel of the monitor. So these values um, go between minus one and one. So we want ours to be uh, white. So we're gonna have one for the red channel, one for the green channel, and one for the blue channel. All right, so that's all the um, arguments that we wanna give to this function. So we close uh, parentheses, and now we wanna assign this to a variable. So we're gonna assign it to something called win. So again, with a variable, we could have called this anything we want, but um, it's typical to call this window a win. All right, so that's going to give us our window. 
So the next thing we wanted to do was to be able to draw some text to the window. So we can use, do this using um, a PsychoPy data type called TextStim. So again, let's have a look at it. PsychoPy.Visual.TextStim and Control i Again, this is a text, text stimuli to be displayed in a window. So that's, that's perfect. So again, we need to give it some um, function parameters. So we can see the one here we have is win. So win is the window that, it, that um, it's going to draw to. So we need to provide this. So win equals, we've called ours win as well. So win equals win. The other thing we're going to do is define the text that it's going to display. So text equals hello world. And again, we close, close the function. So we want this to be assigned to a variable, which we'll call text. So now we have this variable text that is a, a text stim um, data type. Okay, so now we have our window and we have our text. So for something to actually show up, we need to do two more things. Firstly, we need to tell Python that we actually want to draw the text. So now we've created it, but we haven't actually drawn anything to the screen. We do that by, a func by using a function attached to our text variable that's called draw. So again, text, and we use the function available called draw. Open close brackets. Okay, so the second thing we need to do is to flip the window. So I'll explain more about why we need to do this in a future screencast. But for now, let's just, just say that it, this is a necessary action for us to be able to see what we've drawn. So we'll add a command win, which has a function flip attached to it. Okay, finally, we're gonna follow good practice and close the window after we've drawn and flipped. All right, so we're all set. So we'll save it and we'll run it and see what happens. Okay, so not much. You might have seen the window flash up on the screen, but that's about it. So what happened there? So what happens with Python scripts like ours is that the lines get executed one at a time and in this order. So when we get to the end, the program finishes, our window closes, and, and that's it. So what we need is something that can interrupt the execution of our program so we can see what we've drawn. So luckily, PsychoPy has exactly this functionality. However, it's in a different sub package. So the first thing we need to do is import it. So now we'll add another import statement. And now we want psychopy.event. So now when we want the program to, to stop and wait for us to press a key, which is after we've flipped the window, we can use the function psychopy.event.waitkeys, which as if we look at the, the help, halts everything while awaiting input from the keyboard. So that's exactly what we want. So again, we close, open and close the brackets. Okay, so now if we run this again, now we have our window and it's waiting for us to, to press a button. So if we press a key, it'll finish. But you might've noticed that we didn't actually see um, any text on the screen. So why might that have been? Let's go back and have a look at our text stimulus. Look at its help. And if we have a look at the default parameter for this um, text color, we can see it's 111, which is white. And because our, our um, window color is also white, we can't see this. So what we need to do is add color equals, let's make it black, so minus one in the red, minus one in the blue, sorry, in the green, and minus one in the blue. So now if we save this and run it again, now you can see our window, our text that we wanted to display, and it's waiting for us to press a key to exit the program, which we'll do now when I press a key. All right, so to wrap up this screencast, we'll go back and have a look at our objectives. So we've seen how we can import PsychoPy and use it to open a window. Also how we can create a text stimulus and use it to show some text in our window. 
We've also seen how we can use PsychoPy to halt program execution and wait for us to press a key press to resume. Okay, I'll see you in the next screencast.